We are living in a world right now where reality is intentionally being twisted for what appears to be for the better of the people. Tolerance, diversity, acceptance, all of these things are supposed to make us kinder, more connected, and more progressive. So instead of telling someone who is overweight that they're obese, we'll tell them that they're perfect, that they don't need to change a thing and they should keep living the way they're living. And it feels really nice for both people involved in that situation. Instead of telling a child who comes last in a race that they're a loser, we give them a participation trophy and it feels really nice for both people in that situation. And it is so easy to claim that we're doing these things out of kindness, but that's the easy way out because the reality is we do these things because it makes us feel good. It makes us feel good to make others feel good. But that isn't the way that we help people. The fat person is at risk for cardiovascular disease and a bunch of other health issues. And we should probably be encouraging sensible eating habits, some exercise, and perhaps giving them some tough love. And the kid with the collection of participation medals is not gonna go on to win Olympic races. His confidence is not an asset because it's not grounded in accomplishments. No, what's gonna end up happening to this kid is he's gonna become entitled, resentful, and angry. And all of those years of praise and adoration from people and then no one cares suddenly. It's It causes for a lifetime of overinflated self-worth and then he has to come up against a hard reality and it's not gonna be a soft landing for him. So here's the thing, we cannot better ourselves without being honest and others cannot address their problems unless they know what those problems are. And this brings me now to the topic that I want to discuss, girls. Young girls are having their futures sacrificed at the altar of political correctness. Women right now can do no wrong and praising us has become a way to virtue signal. We hear it all the time. Follow your heart, women, they say. Do what feels right. Who cares what men think? Don't judge, you be a slut. Live your life, be liberated. We hear this constantly, constantly said to us by everyone, by the media, by popular magazines by our politicians, our schooling, it's everywhere. But little do women know, like the story of the child with the trophies and the fat person with the potential cardiovascular disease, there's also a cold, harsh, true reality at the end of this rainbow we're being sold. So instead of just telling you the nice things, I'm here to tell you the truth. Because women deserve to hear it and decide for themselves what kind of life they want to live. And I mean the full truth, not the Sex in the City, Cosmo Magazine, mainstream media, Marxist propaganda truth, but the reality. So let's jump into it. Girls, first I wanna start with a compliment and a genuine one. You are extremely valuable and beautiful to a lot of people. Now, if I just finished the sentence there, that would be a truth that not a lot of people would be afraid to tell you. In fact, you've probably heard it time and time again. But what people are afraid to do is to finish that sentence. You are extremely valuable, but that value diminishes over time. And I don't mean the value of your soul or the kind deeds that you do, which can potentially be beautiful forever, but I mean your sexual market value and your desirability as a potential partner and wife. And you can go ahead and blow that off as something that you don't care about. You don't care about sexual market value or what men think of you. But the reality is that it is one of the most important assets of our lives as females. A stable marriage and children are statistically one of the highest predictors of happiness in a woman's life. And your chances of having either of those things diminish over time as you push them back for partying, for work, for education, or for finding yourself, whatever it may be. Good men tend to get married off fast and they marry young women. As men grow older, they earn more money and become more stable and become more valuable on the dating market. And these men are going to be attracted to younger women. This attraction is completely rational. It's not bigoted or because of a hatred of older women. It's just a fact that younger women can have more healthier children. They are less of a divorce risk. They come with less emotional baggage and men with younger wives even live longer. Women love strength and resources. Men value youth and fertility. These are age old archetypes of warriors and mothers. And pairing the masculine with the feminine like this has secured our existence since the beginning of time. Obviously it gets a bit more complicated than that, but the biggest thing you want to know as a woman is that you really do not want to be competing against 20 year old girls for 30 year old guys when you hit the age of 30 because 
you won't win. And it will just become harder and harder and harder for you to find a guy to settle down with as all of the good men who want to settle down and get married do just that, but with younger women. And